Hello and welcome to The Buzz. It was kind of a week of mixed emotions for me because on one hand, there were so many fake celebrities in town that I couldn't stop feeling good about myself. On the other hand, I thought that The Buzz was a little bigger than it is. Apparently nobody watches us, nobody enjoys us, nobody appreciates us because in response to a tweet that I sent out earlier this week, challenging people to tell me what makes their football teams great, I had two people tweet back. Tweet back, yo! Tate Schmader, Stuart, thank you for telling me that the Broncos are fun to be around. They're a bunch of hardworking kids. And Dallas, don't know your last name, thank you for telling me that you went to Chambers, which no longer exists because it's co-opted with Wheeler Central to make the Renegades. School that's not co-opted right now, Lutheran High Northeast, they are cooperating, however, with what their coaches want them to do to win football games. And that is follow their big offensive line down the field in what I like to call a rugby scrum offense and just keep scoring points that way. Lutheran High Northeast gives the ball a lot to Nick Stoll, Shaka Taylor. What they do is they have a nice blend of Stoll's to the inside, Taylor to the outside. Eventually they pop a big one. And if they're not popping a big one on the ground, they do have the ability to pass. They don't do it often. But Taylor hooked up with Stoll's for a 36-yard touchdown pass with two seconds left in the first half last week to kind of propel them to a 29-14 victory over West Holt. It's not going to get any easier for Lutheran High Northeast or any team in the Class C26 district. The Eagles this week are traveling to undefeated Hardington Cedar Catholic. West Holt is hosting undefeated Battle Creek. And that's kind of how it goes there. And that's going to lead us into guest -omations. After giving up my dream to be an opera singer, I decided to start predicting football games. And I'm going to start with Stuart at Why Not. Look for a lot of points in this game. Last year, Why Not traveled to Stewart, beat them 47 to 42 in a game that really wasn't over until two minutes after it was over because you figured they were going to continue scoring points. This year, both offenses might be even a little bit better. Jackson Sudbeck, the quarterback for Wynat, one more year of experience. Stewart has a lot more weapons around quarterback Alex Koontz this year. Uh, Mitchell Dvorak being one, Mason Dexter being one. Sorry if I forgot you. I'm just going to talk about Tate Schmader since he tweeted me. Thanks, Tate. Expect the same this year. Lots of points. I think that home field advantage is going to be big for Wynat this year. They'll probably edge Stewart, look for, you know, 72 to 67, somewhere in there. A game going to be the opposite of that, also up in Cedar County. Lutheran High Northeast and Huntington Cedar Catholic. This isn't going to have a lot of points in my opinion, simply because both teams like to grind and grind and grind and grind and grind and eat up clock. It's possible that, you know, they might go a half where there's a four total possessions, maybe a seven to six type of game. Probably going to be a little bit more scoring than that, but Lutheran High Northeast, I just, I really like that offensive line. They don't seem to allow anybody to tackle their, their ball carries behind the line of scrimmage. They're always moving forward, and they have, have a great running back in Nick Stoles, who's a downhill runner. Now, please return to The Buzz next week, where I'll talk about those games and a few more things. I'll also explain why, if you ever travel to Stewart, Nebraska in the middle of December and see a man named Heidi on the side of the road claiming to have free lottery tickets, just keep driving. There's a good chance that he's going to try and rig your Mountain Dew so that it won't start your car anymore, and that's just terrible news. Until then, I'm Tom Beamer for The Buzz.